the engineering explorers, after school program, Dr. Albert Einstein Academy, were searching for an inspiration for a project when they came across astronaut Don Pei. The students were watching a video of Angry Birds in Space and about trajectory. Suddenly, light bulbs were on. Rockets! How to build a rocket! To do our experiment, first we need to make a rocket. Not that kind of rocket. What? We're only kids. We're building a straw rocket. And these are our materials. First, we need a straw. Next, we need a nose cap. Then, we need fins cut from index card. Also, we need tape. These are the parts for our rocket. The nose cap, which is the nose. The straw is the body. And, the, and these are the fins. We want to find out what happens to the flight distance when we change the body length. We also want to find out what happens to the flight distance when we change the number of fins. Hmm. And this is how we measure our flight distance. This is our rocket launcher. At first, we always make sure that the launch, that the launch angle is always at 15 degrees and never ever change it. Then we go to our launch pad and make sure it's at 30. And now, ready? Set, blast off. Ooh, wow, that thing went far. Now we have to do it three more times. <laughs> After we recorded our data, we created a chart using Excel, and this is what we have. As you can see on this chart, when the body length increases, the farther the rocket will go. I should do it like, I think this. About right there. In class, all the students were using rock, making rockets, and we used a different amount of fins. But when we added a lot of fins, we didn't make as much this flight distance as we did. But when we decreased the amount of fins, it started going as far. This is our data from our final, final design. Num the tr this is the number of trials. Our average, 2,220.25. How amazing is that? And as you can see here, this is our chart. Wow, that is really awesome. Based on the data that we learned with the fins and the body length, this is our rocket. Oh my God.